What's going on everyone, it's Justin here, and today we're taking a look at a great budget living room TV setup. So on this channel, we cover a whole range of products, including the cutting edge and the best of the best, as well as great value options for people who are looking to save a little bit of money, but also check out what the best offering is from a perspective of performance and also value. And we've taken a look at a lot of great TVs this year, including a nearly $10,000 Sony OLED TV that is what I would say is the best of the best of TVs that I've ever seen, as well as laser TV setups, projectors, and now we're taking a look at a couple TV options from Amazon's new lineup, whether it is the 4 Series or the Omni that is powered by MediaTek, and it is an all-in-one smart TV system that not only has a 4K resolution, but also has HDR support, and in some cases, also Dolby offerings as well, and it starts at a price point of under $300 for a 43-inch TV setup. And for like any student out there or anyone who's looking to kind of improve your living room setup going into the new year, I feel like these are some really, really good options that you just can't beat at the price point that they're offered at. So I want to give a huge thanks to MediaTek for sponsoring this video. And if you always like to win a living room setup for yourself, just go ahead and subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video, and also leave a comment down below with your Instagram username and follow me over on Instagram as well. And I'll be announcing a winner if this video hits 3,000 likes. So if you guys remember last year, I did a video of like a minimal tech loft and that was actually an Airbnb that just had like a really nice optimized Scandinavian style where it is literally like 300 square feet of space, but you have like your kitchen, your bedroom that is combined as a dining table. And in general, it's like a very minimal way of living or like the perfect vacation home. And with that, we demonstrated quite a few MediaTek products, whether it was a smart bulb, the TV, the lighting setup, the wall plugs, as well as some Amazon Alexa products. And that was actually a really fun experience because a few months later I came across this property right here Which I've been documenting on the YouTube channel as well And this is a vacation rental or investment property that I purchased and completely remodeled And kind of the inspiration behind this is to build like a nice tech loft experience That is definitely not like the largest space But it's well optimized and utilizes different areas effectively And with that I've also installed the Amazon Fire TV in one of the rooms MediaTek is actually the world's fourth largest global semiconductor company that powers powers more than 2 billion devices a year. In fact, because we're talking about TVs today, MediaTek is actually the number one chipset provider for smart TVs. Some of the great features that we're gonna be focusing on thanks to the MediaTek chip in these Amazon Fire TVs is the image processing and the AI technology to be able to identify certain characteristics and areas to give you the best image quality possible, as well as MediaTek's portfolio that includes support of up to 8K TVs in the future and also Wi-Fi 6 to meet consumer demands of streaming, especially in higher resolutions and also in HDR and Dolby content as well to be able to take advantage of that TV experience. So let's go ahead and get started and show you guys the 4 Series Amazon Fire TV which is the budget offering before moving over to the Omni. So the first TV that we're going to take a look at is the Amazon Fire TV 4 Series. And this is kind of like the entry level of the lineup and we're going to take a look at the Omni model after, but this right here is one that comes in at a very affordable price point. And for anyone who is maybe putting it in like a dorm room, for any students out there, or in my case in an Airbnb, it is perfect because it has everything that is built in and it also has a lot of incredible features as well that give you good image quality, but also just like an all-in-one experience where you don't have to spend any additional money to get your home theater set up going. This right here in the 43 inch option comes in at a price point under $300, which I think is really attractive because it has a 4K resolution, has HDR10 support as well as Dolby Digital, and it doesn't have Dolby Vision, but I feel like all the other great features in terms of the image quality standpoint are all included. It is powered by MediaTek's SoC, which gives you like a fast and interactive experience when navigating the menus and a lot of times I've noticed with like budget TVs is like the, the menu is just not really well refined the software doesn't really work that well but I can tell you like just from going through the menu right here on like the home screen of the Amazon Prime video experience going through Netflix YouTube and going through all the different settings to be able to customize but also access all of your frequently used content it's extremely smooth and the remote that is also included is really intuitive as well you have quick access to the Prime video Netflix, DAZN, and Disney Plus, which are honestly all platforms that I do use because I watch like boxing, Netflix, and of course YouTube all the time. The button's also very tactile and I definitely prefer this over like the scroll wheel and stuff. And you also have the direct Amazon button where you could speak to the remote and control the TV right from there. 
This 4 Series right here has three HDMI 2.0 ports as well as an eARC for audio return channel. And if you're looking to pair it with like a sound bar, then audio return channel is kind of like the best option to go with. But you do still have the option to go with like optical as well. It has like a generally consistent image with a good amount of contrast. The colors do pop where they need to, but they're definitely not like ones that completely jump out of the screen. But you can see like in the reds, the greens, and the blues, and in the main areas, it is really a pleasant visual experience. And I feel like for the price of under $300, it really is unbeatable because you have all the features that you really need here. You can see like this beautiful interface. The image quality is actually pretty good. We're in a relatively bright room. And when it comes to like the actual performance in the colors and the optimization, obviously it's not gonna be like compared to something that is two or three times the price, but for the price point paired with the software and the fast navigation, it is definitely one of the best options that I can recommend sub $300. So this right here is the Amazon Fire TV Omni, which is the higher end option compared to the 4 Series. And behind me, I have the 65 inch model, which actually still comes in at a price point that is relatively affordable considering the size, the feature set, and also the optimization and support for the video mediums to give you the best image quality possible. So this TV comes in at a price point at about $830, which is quite a bit under the sub 1000 point for a TV of this size. And I feel like at that point, you do have to balance expectations whether it is the amount of features in the streaming service and the built-in support, as well as the actual image quality and sound quality that is able to give you. This TV, of course, is also powered by MediaTek's SOC, as well as the Amazon Fire TV streaming service that is built in, and it gives you access to all of your favorite streaming platforms, including YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, and also Prime Video, and many more, including apps that you can go ahead and download. And where the MediaTek really comes in is the actual connectivity to your Wi-Fi and giving you that reliable streaming connection, especially in 4K resolution, and also content that does have the HDR and Dolby support, as well as just the general user interface and how easy it is to navigate. On the visual quality side of things, the Omni model specifically does have support for Dolby Vision, HDR10, HLG, and also Dolby Digital plus for surround sound and it also has built-in microphones to allow for hands-free control with Amazon Alexa and those are the main differentiators from the 4 series. It also has three HDMI 2.0 ports as well as one HDMI eARC 2.1 which is really nice because especially if you have like a soundbar that does support HDMI eARC and the Dolby surround audio it is able to really give you that great experience through the built-in streaming so you don't have to actually have like any additional streaming stick and it really is is future proof. With the HDMI eARC though, I do recommend that you go ahead and pick out like an external soundbar because one of the drawbacks of this TV is that the speakers are not exactly great and are also not that powerful. It is just like a pair of eight watt speakers. But one other like hardware difference between the Omni and the 4 Series is that it also has like a nice metal trim on the bottom that makes it look very high end. It has like that premium look to it and it is built quite solid. And in general, it is just a pretty stylish TV to have wall mounted in a living room like this. When it comes to like the actual image quality, which I guess is like the biggest question mark at this price point, I would say that it is pretty in line with what you would expect from like a value standpoint at the sub 1000 price. It definitely doesn't like exceed my expectations in any way, but at the same time, it has a good level of contrast. You can see the colors do look nice and vibrant and are pretty well balanced to some degree. And the optimizations through the MediaTek chip are also able to ensure that based on the content that it is able to display, it is able to give you the best experience possible. Just watching like Netflix TV shows and movies and also some sports, the 4K resolution and and 60 Hertz max should be good for most people out there. Of course, if you have expectations of like a higher refresh rate, then you are definitely gonna have to spend a little bit more money, but I do feel like overall this TV is a pretty good deal in the image quality that it is able to provide. For a lot of games out there, there still isn't support for like 120 Hertz aside from like select few. And personally, the games that I play have just started coming in 4K in just the last year. So connecting the PS5 to it was still a great experience. And I don't really feel like a lot of times all the the crazy features in more expensive TVs are really being utilized to any degree because beyond like some casual gaming, I'm just watching like cable TV most of the time and that is still barely in 4K and even the 4K channels are not always available. 
The MediaTek portfolio and their current chipset though does support up to 8K resolution, so you should expect to see this line of chips and also the newer iterations in future TVs as 4K is kind of establishing itself as like a mainstream and every TV is going to be 4K in the next couple years. We're kind of in that transition, but we're also seeing a lot more 8K TVs come out at much more affordable price ranges. So when it comes to like the actual interface and UI experience on the Amazon Fire TVs, whether it's the 4 Series or the Omni, it is all powered by MediaTek's SoC. And this is not only able to give you great connectivity through Wi-Fi 6, but at the same time, great AI optimization to give you the best image quality possible based on the scene detection and how it's able to separate like faces and different types of colors and separations. And that is a technology that we've seen in a lot of TVs at varying levels, even up to what we've seen in Sony and their high-end OLEDs, which really does focus on the AI and optimization because nowadays, just having a great panel in the TV is not enough. The content is just so diverse in its color and the way that it is able to represent that having specific optimization is what is going to deliver the best quality possible. But when it comes to like the actual like interface, the first thing I noticed with the Fire TV is that it is really, really snappy. Going through the menus of like the streaming platforms, the apps that I have installed, including Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, and also just like the built-in media player, I found that it was just instantaneous in the way that things were able to load. And personally, I use like DAZN um, as well as Netflix and YouTube. And I also stream stuff from my smartphone using the Chromecast option. And there is also Apple TV Plus support as well. So you pretty much have every single platform that you need covered. And most of the streaming sticks and built-in streaming services on smart TVs do have that, but some of them are just not very fast and that makes it very annoying to have to go out and buy another streaming box or a streaming stick to give you the experience that you kind of expected out of the TV anyways. So thanks to the MediaTek power, it is really able to deliver in that way. And I also really like this remote. It is light and it has like a nice tactile button and through that, you have all of your quick access as well that we also see over on the 4 Series 43 inch TV. But talking about like the actual voice control, it is also really, really fast. You go ahead and hold the button right here. Alexa activates right away. And I'm able to like name very specific things such as like playing something on YouTube. It'll start playing that right away. Or if I just want to search a certain topic, I can also just hold the button down, talk to it. And on the Omni Series TV, it also has a microphone that is built in and ready at all times. So you don't have to like go and find your remote. And if you have like the Amazon Echo, for example, then that is also able to work in line with like a full smart home experience. For those who may not need like a new TV entirely though, this right here is the Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max. It is the top end of their streaming sticks. It has all the bells and whistles and hence its name, it is able to stream at a 4K resolution and some of the specific features that are associated with the MediaTek chip. And it's actually Amazon's first streaming media player to offer Wi-Fi 6 support and it uses the latest MediaTek MT7921 LS Wi-Fi 6 chipset, which means smoother 4K streaming and also cloud gaming in fact. The Max is a new model and it is 40% more powerful than the old Fire TV Stick 4K and it features a quad core 1.8 gigahertz CPU and a 750 megahertz GPU for fluid gameplay and also graphic rendering. It does feature eight gigabytes of storage built in as well as two gigabytes of RAM. But what is also nice is that it has 4K Ultra HD content and support for Dolby Vision, HDR, HDR10+, and immersive Dolby Atmos. It does have all the same streaming platforms and also apps that you can go ahead and download. But if you're looking for like a great add-on that is just a lot snappier and probably more intuitive and better supported than like an old like smart TV system that may not work that well and may have came with your TV, then the Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max is a great option. And I think for any student out there, because Amazon Prime and Prime Student is already like something that most people do have, the Amazon platform is a really good one to go with because not only do you have access to like Amazon Prime content, which honestly has a few shows that I do want to watch nowadays. It also has support for all of your other platforms such as like the Netflixes and YouTubes and being able to just plug and play is really awesome. The remote that comes with the Fire Stick 4K Max is just like a little bit smaller than the one that comes with the Omni and also the 4 Series TV, but it still has all the same controls and your quick streaming buttons on the bottom and the tactile button right here to kind of navigate the interface that it really does give 
give you like that matching experience and of course the Alexa button on the top for the voice activation and control. So now that we've taken a look at the Amazon Fire TV lineup powered by MediaTek and their new SOC, as well as some of the Amazon Alexa products that can kind of go along with it around your smart home and bring that whole experience together, I can really tell you that if you're looking for a really nice TV that matches an ecosystem that a lot of people already have, such as Amazon Prime and Prime Video, then the Amazon Fire TV is a great option. Whether you go ahead and purchase the 4 Series or the Omni, I feel like for a lot of students out there or like anyone who's looking for a great TV for like their investment property, the 4 Series was actually really impressive in terms of its overall performance under the price point of $300, having a 4K resolution as well as all the smart features, HDR support, and it is powered by the same chip that the flagship TV also has. As you kind of heard me mention a few times, the general reliability of the interface is the biggest thing that I noticed, but on top of that, being future-proof is also awesome. So if you guys want to go ahead and check out anything for yourself, I'm going to go ahead and drop that link down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.